Hey guys, what's up? It's Bobby with Hilk Sports Cards. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Got one of my favorite types of videos to show you guys today. Just got this PSA order in. They came a little bit later than normal, but uh, they did come. It's about 25 cards. This was at the $19 bulk special. Um, this is a blind reveal as usual. So I have unpacked everything so you don't have to see that. And kind of organized it the way I want to organize it. But I have that I have not looked at any grades. Uh, unlike my last couple submissions, I actually have a few cards here at the end that are semi-big. So uh, I'm excited about that, but I ain't going to lie to you. I'm not feeling confident because the, uh, the highest, basically equivalent to the price without being upcharged, on uh, on bulk is $499 and I think for sure the last card if it got a 10 would have been I didn't look up prices I don't want to jinx it but I got to think that card is you know maybe close to almost double 500 so I'm not feeling very confident about these grades hopefully I'm wrong uh, if you've watched the channel the last couple of submissions have not gone the way I hoped uh, my baseball submission, which is all modern cards, most of it I just opened up, and uh, you know, you know, put it, you know, put it, protected it, and sent it to grading right away. Checked it over, like I was right at fifty percent PSA tens. And the previous submission, which I bought a lot of quarterbacks on um, rookie cards on eBay, I was about thirty-five to forty percent PSA ten. So. A lot of that type of stuff as well. There's some cards. I'll, I'll go through it on cards that I I sold or excuse me, cards that I bought or uh, pack pulled myself. So let's get to it. No reason for me to <clears throat> jabble on about it. So you guys have seen this guy before, Xavier Isaac. I think this is, no, there's a couple of autographs. This is, this is the only non-autograph baseball card. It's just a mega box mojo. He's a top 100 prospect that I feel is going to be strong he's 20 years old had 20 home runs last year so i do have an autograph of him as well and I, this will be my third or fourth mega box mojo so we did get a 10 there again sorry for the lighting guys it's a little later than normal so we start off with a 10 that one i bought this osir thompson i think it's a purple i pulled this one in a monopoly box again looks Perfect. Sorry for the lighting. Just figured for 19 bucks, I got to give it a shot. And we got a nine. I hope that's not a uh, sign of things to come in basketball because my last card is a basketball card. Pull this as well. I didn't know much about Cam Whitmore, to be perfectly honest with you. But he had been playing pretty good. I've been watching, like I was looking at his stats and he was averaging like... 15 to 17 points a game the last month. So I figured since it was a silver, I thought I would give it a shot. Looks pretty good. Honestly, I don't see any issues with it. So Monopoly. This is definitely a, 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 a bad one if it's not a 10. And it is actually a 9 again. So I have one more Monopoly card. That's the hint. That'll be my final card. And that's my biggest card. And I'm sure by now you know who it is. But we got nines besides that. So hopefully they give me 110. Or I'm going to be bummed. This was pulled, guys. Jaden Reed. It is, I believe, a color match rookie. Uh, not a Packer fan at all, but he's a pretty good little player. So I thought I'd give it a shot. Usually I like to get into the quarterbacks, but... If I pull someone like this in a color match or a silver, I'll give it a shot. So we got a we got a 10 there. This one you guys will tease me about. Uh Trey Lance. It's a number Don Ross Optic. It I was buying some cards on like Com C or one of the big, you know, one of the big sellers on eBay. I forget what card I bought. And they charge like five dollars and fifty cents shipping. So it's only fifty cents additional shipping if I buy you know other cards and this was like it was like five bucks and i'm like you know it's still trey lance it's a numbered rookie 
I feel like eventually at some point he's going to get a chance to start somewhere. So maybe there'll be some, you know, a little bit of hype about him. So for a $5 card plus, you know, $19 grading it, I thought I would give it a shot. So let's see. Definitely need a 10 here or I will lose. And I'm not liking this grader so far, guys. That is another 9. Should never have really bought that anyways, but whatever. This is kind of a risky card as well it is out of 75 though but it's prism draft picks if i remember right so kyler murray so it's just you know another quarterback he's really cheap this was less than ten dollars for this card i figured why not get a couple i got a couple kyler murray cards sell it before the season starts we did get a 10 there so out of 75 that sh should be fine we'll take it this was the same seller. It was another Kyler Murdy. It was numbered as well. I think it was it Absolute. Yeah, it was Absolute Introduction, some type of insert out of 75. This is not a Chrome card, though, so I wouldn't be surprised if it grades a little bit worse. And it did. Got a 9 on that one. Again, sorry for the lighting, guys. All right, we're a little bit below 50% on PSA 10, so not the greatest start. So I'm a Cubs fan, guys, as you may or may not know. I'm trying to get autographs of all the prospects that the Cubs have. I want at least one PSA 10 of all the like top 20 Cubs prospects. It's just kind of a little fun PC thing I'm doing. So this is one of the few guys I don't have an autograph of. He is a shortstop, and the Cubs have a lot of shortstops, but he's, he's young. I think we got him... Sign him from the Dominican, and he's actually in the top 15 for the Cubs, so I didn't have anything. It was out of 299 Bowman Chrome first. Don't remember how much I paid for this. He's got an interesting autograph, but it wasn't a, a whole lot. But obviously, he has a little bit of potential, a young prospect, a young shortstop, excuse me. So, let's see if I can get the 10, and I may not, so... I will have to try again. I'll have to buy another one and see if we can get a 10 with that guy. That's a bummer. This one is a thick card. So the expectation is that this will be a 9 or lower. But I will say this. I will jinx it right now. For a thicker card, I have never seen a more perfect card. It was Chris, the the edges were perfect there was no surface issues like i am very confident if i send this into sgc or bgs i would get a 9.5 or maybe even a 10 but with psa they are very very difficult on thicker cards this is a pc card i am not going to sell it one of my favorite chicago cub of all time is andre dawson and it is a sick on-card autograph of him out of, what does that say, out of 35 Tops Tribute. Look, you can just tell from the shine, guys, right? This thing is perfect, which probably means it's like a PSA 6. So again, PC card. Let's see. Come on, PSA. Yeah, of course, a 9. Autograph Sepia Tribute. I, I like this card so much, I might send this to like SGC. Because that's better than a 9. This thing is so perfect. I can't stand how... I don't understand why they... I don't understand why PSA grades so difficult on the thicker cards. Like, I, I, just, I don't know. This doesn't make sense when SGC and BGS are fair about it. Like, why, why is their system any different? I don't know. Guys, we are not off to a good start. And I have some really big cards here at the end. This is another like $5 card, so this is not a big deal. It's a second year Joe Burrow, but it is a color match mosaic with the orange. Looked good, figured why not. And we get a, the 10s on the cheap ones. Okay. All right. Second year, again, this is Mr. Brock Purdy. And this is a green... Is it a Hyper or Wave? Green Wave, second year Brock Purdy. I pulled this. I figured, why not? Let's send it in. Again, sorry for the lighting, guys. 
We've got another 10 there. Okay. My boy, Justin Fields. I think he'll start in Pittsburgh at some point. This is obviously a Don Rost Optic Pink. I think it's like a pink hyper. I did buy this card and the next several, I believe, right off eBay. And uh, in my last football submission, the cards I bought on eBay of quarterbacks did not go well. So hoping a little bit better luck today. Mr. Fields. Let me see a 10. Hey, all right. This is my first 10 for Justin Fields in a long time. Very good. Jalen Hurts. This is a die cut, which again, does not grade well with PSA. Some type of purple, not numbered rookie die cut that looked clean obviously that's why i sent it every card i look over i feel has a chance for a 10 but i know they're tough on the die cuts let's see okay all right i'll take that all right this one i looked over this is a jordan love who's one of the hottest quarterbacks right now obviously it's definitely a little bit thinner on the right side to the right so wouldn't be surprised if my 10 streak ends, but it's a die cut again. Rookie Jordan Love Blue. I also bought this one on eBay. It's pretty good on the front, just a little bit off-centered. Wow, okay. We're, we're... This is good. This is good. Okay. Starting to feel it, guys. Here we go. Another die cut. Jordan Love, this is a blue die cut. This one actually I thought looked better than the last card, which means it's for sure a nine. No. Wow. So it's kind of funny, Jordan Love, well, I'll, I shouldn't say this until I look at the next card, but my, uh, my football, check it out, guys. My football submission video about two weeks ago, I got destroyed except Jordan Love. I think I was four for four on Jordan Love. So let's see if we can go three for three on Jordan Love. This is a mosaic, but it's a uh, silver. Bought it on eBay. Again, this is our last Jordan Love card. Come on, baby. Wow, Jordan Love is good to me, man. Jordan Love is good to me. I think those last... Four or five cards right there probably pays for maybe more than 50%, maybe more of this whole deal. So that, uh, I mean, there's nothing big. There's not, they're probably, you know, $80 cards, but I will take it. Let's get into Trevor Lawrence. We have four Trevor Lawrence cards. A few of them are a little bit thicker stock, so I'm a little bit nervous about them. This one is just a... Reactive Orange Mosaic. Again, just bought this right on eBay. Let's see if we can keep the streak going with Trevor Lawrence. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Another 10. Okay. This one is XR, but it's a numbered XR. So it is out of 75, as you can see. It's a white and this one, oh, there goes the dog. Sorry about that. Someone's at the door. Uh, this one's a little bit thicker stock. So let's see how we do here. We get the streak alive. Nope, that's there's the nine. Okay. Kind of expected that. That's okay. Kind of the same deal here. I think this is a recon, but it's also a number Trevor Lawrence. This one is out of 75 as well. Good looking card. It's a recon purple, but again, a little bit thicker card. Uh, and then some of the others, so probably a little bit harder to grade. I would love a numbered Trevor Lawrence 10. And there's a, our first, there's our first goofy one right there. That's a seven. Okay. Leave that here. And then our last Trevor Lawrence, this is actually a semi-big one. 
Ah, uh, it's a mosaic, actually. I thought it was a prism variation, but still a cool card. So prism, or excuse me, mosaic variation silver Trevor Lawrence rookie. Again, all these I bought on eBay. Let's see if we can get the tens going again. Nope, nine. All right. Okay, now we're, we're, I think I got one. I got about six cards left. These are my sixth, potentially my sixth biggest. I don't know if this one is or not, but I just kept the Will Levis together. This is an orange, just a disco Will Levis rookie. Um, I kind of like him next year. He's pretty cheap right now. I'm And... You know, they, they got some weapons, what, A.J. Brown, right? They got some weapons in the uh, the offseason. And uh, he had times where he looked really, really good. I mean, so I figured, why not? This one looked great. Again, bought it right off eBay. I need to get back on the 10 train because these are the big cards coming up here. And that is not the start we were looking for, guys. We got another 9 on the disco. We're at 50% now, PSA 9s and 10s. Five cards left. If I'm going to get a 10 on Will Levis, I'd rather have this one because it's actually a silver. It is a silver rookie Will Levis. Again, bought this right off of eBay. Looked perfect. I did not see any, any surface issues. It is a tad off center, but within the guidelines of PSA, this has got to be at least a $200 card if it's a 10. And it is. Okay. Well, I'd rather have that than that. So I think we are good for the most part for this submission. I'm not sure which card is more valuable. This one or this Bryce Young Silver. This one I actually pulled on my own. So I pulled this and immediately sle sleeved it up and send it to PSA. It looks perfect. Again, a, I mean, a smidge, a smidge thicker here than there, but I mean, it is minor. I think it's actually better than the Will Levis, so. Bryce Young Silver, if we get two in a row, I think we're going to get two in a row. Yes, say yes. Yes, yes. Yes, let's go. Sweet. Okay, here is a funny one, at least for me, it's funny, maybe not for you, so. I also pulled this card. This is an Anthony Richardson. It was out of a hanger box. And it was a green wave. As you can see, it is definitely a little bit thicker here than there. And I put it on eBay as a buy it now for like 20% less than what other green waves were selling for. Because I thought that was fair because I think it was a little bit off-centered but no one would buy it. And so I'm like, at that point, I'm like, you know what? The heck with it. I'm just going to send it in for grading. Maybe I get extremely lucky. Again, this is definitely thicker left to right. Uh, I've seen PSA give this cards like this a 10 before, so you never know. So anyways, I sent it in. If it gets a nine, it probably sells for the same as the raw anyway. So I took a shot at it. Anthony Richardson is starting to get some hype. His cards are starting to move up, so let's see if this would be... This would be a crazy 10. No, nope, I got a 9. That's what it deserves, so... That's fine. I'll just sell it as a 9. Okay, guys, two cards left. Uh, I don't normally go too crazy on raw cards, like, with the amount of money that I spend. This one was definitely more expensive than normal um when i sent it in i i didn't remember i remember it looking really really good and then when i looked in the picture i don't know if you can tell right here it's hard there's just a tiny bit of white on that top right corner i don't remember that i'm not saying psa did anything but i thought it looked really really clean i bought this for 185 dollars uh the they are currently selling raw for like like 230 because obviously he's most likely going to be the number one pick for the Bears. So again, if this gets a 10, is it worth more than 499? I would think so. Maybe like not a ton more. So I was not upcharged. So 
it had no surface issues that I can see, but it's a Caleb Williams green. Again, is it out of 99? Out of 99 autograph for my Chicago Bears. If this is gets a nine, I sell it for sure. If it gets a 10, just because I'm a Bears fan and he doesn't sign with Panini, I, just being a Bears fan, I might just keep it. We'll see. Let's just see what happens. So two cards left, guys. This is my second biggest card. If one out of the two gets a 10, I will be ecstatic. But let's see. Come on, Caleb. Come on, Caleb. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Of course, now I feel greedy because <laughs> I want the next one to be a 10 bad. All right, that's cool. That is really cool. Okay, here we go, guys. Here's the big one. I uh, pulled this card, and uh, it is a Monopoly Victor Wembanyama. It is not numbered, but it is a silver, which is a super hard pull. Again, I got to think. You guys tell me, right? If this was a 10, a silver... Monopoly, Victor Wimbignana, it's got to be more than $500, right? But I didn't look at the grade, I promise you, but I was looking at this card, which got a 9, the Whitmore. Man, it just, I mean, just a tiny bit thicker there. And, God, it's so close. I guess I think this one maybe is a little bit better. I don't know. So, if somehow this gets a 10, I'm going to be the happiest person in the world at this moment. It, I think I would sell it immediately. Um, he's a great player, but I've just seen it before. We've seen it with John Morant. We've seen it with Zion Williamson. We can go on and on with guys. You know, they just, the cards just go down. Can, you know, People move on to other guys, even though I think he's a great player. I don't think he's the next Michael Jordan or LeBron James. But if he, if that happens, it happens. I will sell it immediately if it's a 10. If it's a 9, I may consider cracking it and reselling and, and sending it back in because it's definitely close. So again, guys, thanks for watching the video. Regardless, getting this 10 makes me feel awesome. Final card. You ready? Here we go. Silver Monopoly Victor. Come on. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Oh, my God, we did it. Oh, we did it, guys. We did it. Oh, God, jeez. Okay, we did it. Whew. That is freaking awesome. There's definitely not a whole lot of those in the world. Holy cow, we did it. We did it. Oh, my God, I can't believe they didn't up upcharge me for that. That's nuts. That is nuts. They did not upcharge me. So, oh my God. <clears throat> this is so nerve wracking, but fun. Uh, this grader was definitely better to me than the previous couple. So whoever you are in the world, thank you so much. But it's just cool because we pulled this one and then this one, I bought it. I don't know. It's just, it's just cool. So, very good day, guys. I am in about as good as a mood as it can be. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to all my subscriber, all my subscribers. We're almost at a thousand, which is crazy, um, and uh, we're having fun. Please let me know in the comments uh, what you think. You think I got a fair, fair grader here? And uh, appreciate all of you. Have a great day. Have a great night, and we will see you on a video tomorrow, guys. Peace.